Hello YouTube, this is Agaptos and this time I'm going to show you guys how does a CISI system or continuous ink supply system works on a printer. Okay, this is how the system works. This is the cartridge end and this is the tank and this is the tube connecting the tank to the cartridge. Okay, there are three components to the CISI system. First, there is a tank, ink tank which acts as the reservoir for the ink second there's a tube connecting the tank to the cartridge and of course thirdly the cartridge like I said before so the assembly is the ink tank is connected through the tube to the cartridge the cartridge will obviously be in the printer and the tank out of the printer okay that is a physics principle it's really not that hard that liquid moves from an area of high pressure to low pressure so if we assume that to be the liquid it will move down its gradient so the cartridge since the cartridge is being used low pressure will develop in the cartridge and this is a very powerful low pressure it's very strong and in the ink tank the ink tank is always open so being exposed to the atmosphere it gets the atmospheric pressure and it causes the ink tank to have a higher pressure compared to the cartridge now back to the assembly the ink tank is connected to the tube to the cartridge which is in low pressure so obviously the ink flows from the tank to the cartridge as the cartridge is being used ink will flow drop by drop into the cartridge so you will not run out of ink for a very long time this is how it looks and empty a new this is a filled one the ink level should always be kept high it should never be let to finish because you will get air bubbles in here and if there's an air bubble it's going to be some problem I will show you guys how to remove the air bubble in a different video okay this is the business end at the cartridge this is how it looks like 